Hello everyone, we are Andrew and Kevin from NYU Shanghai. This is our final project for the machine learning fall 2017 course taught by Keith Ross. Our project involves artistic style transfer. Artistic style transfer is the ability to use machine learning algorithms to apply the style of a particular image onto another image. The first part of our presentation will briefly summarize how we can pose this problem as an optimization problem, and how this optimization problem can be solved using machine learning techniques. The second part will deal with our specific model used, our results, and some broad concluding thoughts. The image above is an example of style transfer. It can also help us formulate our problem statement. How can we selectively apply the style from styled photo S over the content photo P to generate a new photo A? This brings about a variety of questions. How do we retain the essential aspects of the content photo structure? How can we cleanly remove the style of the content photo? How can we train our computers to perceive these differences on a semantic level? The first major step in this field was introduced in September 2015 through a paper titled A Neural Algorithm of Artistic Style. Gaddis showed that the task of transferring the style from one image to the content of another can be posed as an optimization problem which can be solved through training a neural network. First, let's tackle what it means for this to be an optimization problem. Let us ask the question, how can we measure how different in content and style two images are from one another? If we pose this as loss functions, we can call these the content loss and the style loss. The content loss function tends to zero when its input images, photo P and style photo S, are similar to each other in terms of content and grows as their content deviates. The style loss function tends to zero when its input images, content photo P and style photo S, are similar to each other in terms of style and grows as their style deviates. Therefore, we can state the trans style transfer problem as find transfer image A that differs as little as possible in content from content photo P and differs as little as possible in style from style photo S. What we want to do is minimize both the style and content loss functions. We now understand why style transfer can be described as an optimization problem. Before we go into the mathematical notation behind these loss functions, let's talk about a potential way we can solve for this optimization. In their published paper, Gaddy shows that this optimization problem can be solved through training a neural network. Specifically, we can take a convolutional neural network that has been pre-trained to recognize objects within images as a basis to extract content and style representations from images. This is because the network will have developed some sort of internal representation of content and style within the various convolution layers of the network. These representations will be independent from each other, so we can use the content representation from one image and style representation from another to generate a brand new image. Let's start by understanding a high-level overview of what convolutional neural networks are. Convolutional neural networks take an image as input, an array of pixel values, passes it through a series of convolutional, nonlinear pooling and fully connected layers, and gets an output. The best way to explain a convolutional layer is imagining a flashlight that is shining over the top left of a 32 by 32 image. The light covers a 5 by 5 area. This flashlight is called the filter, which is basically an array of numbers called weights or parameters. This filter slides or convolves across all the areas of the input image, multiplying its weights by the original pixel values of the image doing element-wise multiplication. These multiplications are summed up into a single number and is representative of that 5x5 five five area. As we slide the filter across the entire image, we are left with an activation map, or feature map, a 28x28 28 28 array of numbers. From a high level, these filters can be thought of as feature identifiers, characteristics that images might have in common, for example, curves, edges, or colors. There are other layers interspersed within these convolutional layers. In a general sense, these layers provide nonlinearities and preservation of dimension that help improve the neural network and control of our fitting. In the end, there is a fully connected layer that takes an input volume from the layer preceding it and an output n-dimensional vector where n is the number of classes that the program has to choose from. For example, a digit classification program will have n equals 10 classes since there are 10 digits. Each number in the n-dimensional vector represents the probability of a certain class. This is a diagram of VGG19, a 19-layer convolutional neural network separated by five pooling layers and ending in three fully connected layers. 
Let's see how we can use the various convolutional layers of this network to extract semantic or internal representations of content and style from images for our problem. For our style transfer problem, we can use the fact that the activation maps or feature maps in the deeper convolution layers of the network represent larger scale features of the original image. We can see that if we reconstruct the original image from deeper layers, we can still preserve the high-level content of the original, but lose the exact pixel information. Capturing information about the style of the image is not as straightforward. However, Gaddis's research paper found that we can extract a style representation by looking at the spatial correlation of values within an activation or feature map. This is done by calculating the gram matrix. The gram matrix contains the correlations between every pair of feature maps at that layer for that image. It captures the tendency of features to co-occur in different parts of the image. Gaddis found that the best results are achieved by taking a combination of deep and shallow convolution layers as the style representation for an image. We will now fully pose style transfer as an optimization problem. The first equation defines a content loss function. Given a chosen content layer L, the content loss is defined as the Euclidean distance between the feature map F in layer L of our content image C and the feature map P in layer L of our transferred image Y. The second equation defines the style loss function. Given a chosen layer L, the style loss is defined as the Euclidean distance between the gram matrix G in layer L of our style image S and the gram matrix A in layer L of our transferred image Y. The third equation defines total loss, which is simply a weighted sum of style and content losses where the weights alpha and beta can be adjusted to allow the transfer image to contain either more content or style. This total loss function is what we need to minimize to perform the task of style transfer. We will now talk about our model. We will use a trained convolutional neural network which captures the details of the photo through its convolutional layers and use the hidden layers to reconstruct a stylized version of the image. We will be using a pre-trained VGG16 network trained on ImageNet. It has high classification accuracy and a good intrinsic understanding of the features. Our process begins by starting with a random image, otherwise also known as white noise. We will iteratively improve the image to become our style transferred image by calling stochastic gradient descent via backpropagation. First, we pass the image through the VGG network to calculate the total style and content loss. We perform the backpropagation step by sending the error back through the network to determine the gradient of the loss function. Then we perform gradient descent. We update the input image in the opposite direction of the gradient, which will allow our loss function to decrease in value. Finally, we will iteratively repeat this until the loss function is below a certain threshold. The following diagram on this slide shows a visual representation of our model. Here's an implementation of content and style loss we used in Keras. Content loss for layer L is the squared error of the transformed photo minus the original content photo, squared and summed up over all of its values. This tends to be a pixel error representation and makes sense as this is more of a representation of the content of the photo. The style loss is calculated by first calculating the gram matrix x times x transpose. The style loss is then scaled and then squared the Euclidean norm of the difference between the gram matrices of the style and combination images. Here are some result images. Here we use the picture of the dog as a content image and a painting for a style image. For the first 10 iterations, loss is still very high. What you are seeing is the style of the photo, which in turn is the generated photo. For this specific photo, 10 iterations tend to not do so well, but one can see that the content of the photo slowly begins to show as the total content and style loss decrease. Here is a stylized photo after training for a thousand iterations. As you can see, both the style and the content of the photo are cleanly preserved, allowing for the successful transfer of style onto our original image, resulting in our transfer image. We found that the best results were achieved by taking four or five layers in different blocks of our convolutional neural network as a style representation, as well as taking a deeper content layer of our network for the content representation. This allowed us to capture both the finer textures of the original painting 
and higher level elements of the original image. The major drawback to this approach is the time that it took to, to train our model. For our model, each iteration took approximately 20 seconds on a high-end GPU. In the next slide, we will talk about a few other implementations of style transfer that build off of this approach to the style transfer optimization problem. Here are some other style transfer works we found interesting while doing research for our project. Johnson's works found perceptual losses for real-time style transfer and super resolution gives high resolution real-time style transfer on images which builds upon the work that Gaddy's made. The 2017 approach is to use GANs or generative adversarial models where one uses two convolutional neural networks in a sort of minimax game, one as a generator and one as a discriminator. As they both train, they both become better and better at discriminating and producing. CycleGAN is a good example of this. Here, object recognition and a twist on generative adversarial models can generate video with style transfer. In conclusion, using features in an unsupervised manner can be effective. Generative models in the future, such as GANs, generative adversarial networks, will prove to be important in the future. And convolutional neural networks holds rich feature information in the convolutional layers. Works like style transfer will have an important role in photo or video editing.